Well, I plugged the guns in for the first time. And as you can see, they kind of look like they're tracking. I'm trying to hold them steady. They are quite jittery. And of course I've got this LED sensor sitting on my floor down below the TV. So again, it's not, you know, it's not a very scientific test. Um, I tried to calibrate one gun, the player two gun, and of course, you know, you're shown points on the monitor in the upper right, lower, or upper left, I think it was, lower right and center that you need to point and pull the trigger at. Well, you're doing that pointing the gun towards the bezel on the ground, not at the screen. So that might account for some of the wiggle because you're not you're obviously not hitting the correct points because you can't really aim it just right. However the player one gun, the red crosshair, that one the trigger button doesn't work on the gun, so I can't calibrate it because you need to point at the crosshatch and press the trigger button. And the trigger button is not registering on this this first gun. The second gun, the trigger button works, but the grenade button that's on the side of the gun. Oh, I'm kind of holding this up and in front of the camera. I don't know if the camera's getting it, but this is a grenade button, and there's the trigger button. So on one of them, the trigger works, the grenade but button doesn't, and the other one, the grenade button works, and the trigger doesn't. So I don't know if that's a short in the wiring or just a switch problem. Um, now that I know the problem exists, I can open the guns up and take a look. Uh, you also see the little blue tape I've got holding the sensor in because this gun case is trashed. Um, I do have one new side for this gun, so I can end up with two complete guns. Um, And I also have a third gun where the sensor has been completely bashed off. So kind of screwed there. And I also have two extra gun cables. As I've been told, the gun cables on these games get shorts in them and cause problems. So I don't know if that's why the triggers aren't working in these games. I don't know that if that's why there's drift. Um, right now I'm just starting to look into it. There's not much info online other than a couple posts that tell you that they can short because they've got this tether cable that runs next to the gun wire. So the tether cable shorts the grounding in the gun hose and then that ends up shorting something, some of the wires or something like that. So I mean if you feel just with your hands, I can feel a knot right there that's probably the the gun tether to keep the guns from getting stolen. It's probably it wrapped around in a way it's not supposed to. It might have cut some wires there. I don't know. Um, new gun cables are ridiculously expensive, so I don't think I'll be buying new ones. Um, I might have to try and do something with these old ones. But pretty happy at this stage, actually, that I actually get crosshair. Um, it'd be nice if they were a little bit more steady, but again, that might be the s how I've got this setup sitting on the floor. It might also be because this setup uses, let me see if I can take this off the tripod and get a picture of it. Turn this to macro. Uh, right there, that little board with two LEDs on it, that's called the gun protection board. Basically, if the guns get a short, 
Uh, actually, no, I'm forgetting. It's either the guns get a short and they blow out the LEDs that go around here, or vice versa. Actually, I think that's what it is. If the gun gets a short, um, it can go through that gun, through the main gun board in the upper left corner and send a bad signal and blow out some of these LEDs. So, Sega came up with that gun protection board that's got a bunch of resistors on it that's supposed to protect the short from getting through to the gun board. But I've read online that it causes drift. So that might be why that wiggle is happening because it's using that gun board protection PCB. Um, my Naomi setup does not have that. And what I've read is you can pretty much get rid of that protection board and just make sure you have a fuse on the 12 volts going to the gun board so that if a short happens in the gun it will blow the fuse and not the board. Um, there's a couple posts out there either on Arcade Otaku or the Naomi, second Naomi.com that tell you what uh, fuse to put in there, what value so I might look into that. But yeah, as a first test of the guns, uh, I'm actually pretty happy. Uh, I thought they would be totally dead, but they do work. Uh, excuse the mouse toys all over the place, or the cat toys all over the place. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it for this video. Uh, it shows that I've got semi-working guns anyway. Oh, speaking of the cat, there she is.